Charlie Brown and the Peanuts were once adored by millions, and the cast were becoming iconic child stars. Many thought that the show would last for several decades. But tragedy struck once puberty came around. Less people were tuning in, and the show eventually was canceled. Where are the Peanuts now 20 years later? We are about to find out on our special edition of E! True Hollywood Story, The Peanuts. After the cancellation of the show, many cast members became broke and unemployed, but this didn't stop Schroeder from pursuing his dream. I'm a true artist. I don't want to be a sellout like everyone else in the industry. <laughs> Artistic integrity. They need it. Me, it radiates out of me like a, like a ray of sunshine. I mean, people generally do love listening to a classic. I've had some pretty incredible gigs lately. Charlie Brown attempted to pursue his dream to be in the NFL. He was drafted as a free agent and became a kicker of the Cleveland Browns. Unfortunately, during his first game, he slipped on the turf while attempting to kick a field goal. Later that game, the second string kicker, Phil Dawson, ended up kicking five field goals. He soon took over for Charlie Brown as a starter and emerged as one of the NFL's top kickers. You know, it could have... It's just... Just look at me. I can't even afford to buy a different shirt. Good grief, how embarrassing. But you know, deep in my gut, I know Lucy caused it all. I don't have any proof. Not yet. But I know she did it. And if I ever see her again, Never mind. Charlie Brown is talking out of his ass. There's no proof, right? I mean, they haven't found anything. You got it? You know what to do? See, there's no evidence. End of conversation. I'm just glad I got it on TiVo. Now I can watch it bust his ass over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> ah. After that, Charlie Brown became very depressed. <laughs> Good grief. Linus decided to team up with Aeropostale to create his very own brand of clothes. He incorporated every single piece of clothing as a blue blanket. Bathing suits, purses, scarves, anything you can think of. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them, right? I had no idea that my blankie would be such a worldwide sensation. I mean, it's a fashion for all seasons. And it's just so darn comfortable. I. I kind of want to take a nap with it right now. <laughs> no, I do not own any of Linus's products. No, it's bad enough having to model his clothes. I'm completely over him. I mean, I am a supermodel now. I'm sure you've seen some of my covers before. Yeah, well, I date athletes, not boys who still carry around their blankets. If I ever saw him again, I'd probably vomit. Hmm. But let's not talk about him. Let's talk more about me. After Sally saw the video, she filed a restraining order against Linus, who is not allowed to be 100 yards within range of her or her house. Look, 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 that whole thing was blown way out of proportion. I mean, I was just walking by and I, and I, I accidentally dropped my keys in her bushes. I wasn't trying to spy on anyone. Lucy decided to become a therapist but has led nine patients to commit suicide. She is currently divorced and a mother of two children, soon to be three. I mean, it's hard being a single mom, taking care of a couple of brats, one on the way. I mean, all they ever do is whine, whine, whine. Mommy, take me to school. Mommy, I'm hungry. 
feed us. It's so annoying. Where are they now? Oh, they're outside in the car. They'll be fine. I cracked the window for them a little so they could get some air. I I'm sorry. Can someone please turn off that background music? That song is driving me nuts! Hey, hey you! Turn that crap off! I'm trying to have a conversation here. I'm sorry, where were we? Big Ben decided to clean himself up by investing in what is known today as the biggest soap company in the world. Well, when I was younger, people referred to me as Pigpen due to my poor personal hygiene. I was afraid to go out, insecure. My parents, well, my parents, they just leave me home on the holidays. Oh, Grandma. But that all changed the day I found Dirt Away Soap, sold at the incredibly low price of $1.95. Beware, it may cause rashes in some unmentionable areas. Pigpen wasn't the only person from the show who decided to make a big life decision. Peppermint Patty, a frequent guest on the show, made some changes of her own. I was just so tired of hiding who I really was. I can remember growing up and thinking, when I looked in the mirror, that's not who I am. That's not who I want to be. Years later, I just came to a crossroads in my life and decided I'd, I'd just go for it. So I took three months off of work and went to Mexico and here I am today. It was worth it. Now when I look in the mirror, I think to myself, that's who I am. And then I get to shave. So kiss me. As for Snoopy, for he achieved beyond Tell greatness. He discovered the cure for cancer, me. helped feed starving oh, children in Africa, and became the first dog to ever walk on the moon. Unfortunately, one day while flying his house over the Atlantic Ocean, he disappeared somewhere near the Bermuda Triangle and was never seen again. And I'll be back again. Oh, baby, I hate to go. Ah, oh, Snoopy. <laughs> I remember that cute little strange laugh he'd have whenever somebody would get hurt. <laughs> I didn't even know a dog could laugh. I didn't think a dog could do taxes, but man, he got me a deduction like you wouldn't believe. Who gives a f He's just a dog. I mean, they only live to be like nine anyways. Even though Snoopy was my best friend, we all have to move on. That's why I found a new friend, Rex. Mm. Say hi to the camera, Rex. Come on, poochie pooch. Yeah. Okay. He just peed on me. Yep, he definitely just peed on me. Rats. Thank <laughs> you.